Hey there, Whovians. With the latest season of Doctor Who leaving many of us feeling a bit underwhelmed, I thought it'd be the perfect time to revisit some classic episodes that truly capture the magic of our favorite Time Lord. Today, I'm counting down my top 25 most essential episodes of Doctor Who stories that every fan should watch. Whether you're a newcomer or a seasoned traveler in time and space, this list is for you. So grab your sonic screwdriver and let's get started. has a legacy spanning over 50 years with each doctor bringing something unique to the table. These 25 episodes are not necessarily the best in terms of storytelling or continuity, but they each represent a significant moment in the series. We'll cover at least one story from each doctor, giving you a taste of the show's evolution through time. And before we dive into this list, a quick note, we're sticking to televised episodes only. So while audio dramas, comics, and novels have expanded the Doctor Who universe, today we're focusing solely on what's been broadcast on TV. Okay, ready? Let's go. All right, so first up, we have the Daleks season one. The first Doctor battles the Daleks for the first time in this iconic story. It's a perfect introduction to the show's oldest and deadliest foes. The eerie atmosphere and groundbreaking design of the Daleks set the tone for countless adventures to come. Next up, we have the Tomb of the Cybermen season five. The Doctor faces the Cybermen in a hammer horror inspired tale filled with suspense and emotion. The story showcases a charming and enigmatic portrayal of the Doctor, while also delving into themes of greed and hubris. Next on our list is the Daemon season eight. The Doctor deals with demonic forces and the Master in this classic story set in a quaint English village. The blend of science fiction fiction and horror along with a strong ensemble cast makes this a standout in this era. We now have the Day of the Daleks Season 9. The Daleks manipulate time travel in a gripping tale that also serves as a critique of authoritative regimes. The story not only features the Doctor's physiological musings, but also thrilling action sequences and a thought-provoking narrative. We have the Ark in Space Season 12. Tom Baker's fourth Doctor embarks on a space adventure showcasing human resilience and some creative special effects. This story is a testament to classic Who with its minimalist but yet effective use of bubble wrap to create terrifying monsters. The Robots of Death season 14, an Agatha Christie style murder mystery with robots featuring the fourth doctor and companion Leela. The intricate plot combined with superb art design and social commentary on class and technology makes this a must watch. The Leisure Hive season 18, the fourth Doctor's final season kicks off with a polished synth heavy story tackling big themes like cloning and colonialism. The shift in tone and style marks a significant transition in the series, reflecting the changing landscapes of sci-fi in the 80s. Kinda? Snake Dance season 19 and 20. Peter Davidson's fifth doctor faces the Mara in a philosophical two-part saga about mental domination and personal growth. These episodes are rich in symbolism and psychological depth, offering a unique take on the nature of fear and power. Next up, we have Vengeance on Varos season 22. Colin Baker's sixth doctor battles a manipulative media system in a story that feels eerily relevant to today. The dystopian setting and biting satire provide a darkly compelling critique of reality TV and political corruption. We have The Happiness Patrol season 25. Sylvester McCoy's seventh doctor navigates a parody of Thatcherian England. This episode is a bold mix of whimsy and political commentary showcasing McCoy's darker and more manipulative doctor. We have Survival season 26. The final story of the classic series explores survival instincts and suburbia's clash with space adventure, featuring the return of the master and the poignant reflection on the Doctor's own nature. It's a fitting end to the original run. So we also have to mention the TV movie in 1996. It's only full TV appearance as the Eighth Doctor, offering a glimpse of what might have been and what was to come. Despite its flaws, the movie introduces a more romantic and humanized Doctor, paving the way for the modern era. 
So of course we have to mention Rose season one in the revived series. Mr. Eccleston's Ninth Doctor introduces a new generation to the Doctor's adventures with the energetic Rose Tyler. The episode brilliantly reestablishes the show's core themes of adventure and wonder with a fresh commentary and feel. We then have Daleks season one in the revived series, a single episode that revitalizes the Daleks and redefines the Doctor's mythology in a very powerful way. It's a emotionally charged story that explores the Doctor's trauma and the Daleks' relentless nature. We have Father's Day Season 1 in the revived series. Rose's attempt to save her father showcases the danger and emotional weight of time travel. The story's emotional depth and its exploration of personal loss and the consequences of changing the past make it a standout. Next up, we have School Reunion in the season two of the revived series. David Tennant's 10th Doctor reunites with Sarah Jane Smith, linking the past and present of the series. This episode not only delivers nostalgia, but also examines the Doctor's long-lasting impact on his companions' lives. And here we go, we have to mention Blink! Season 3 in the revived series, a clever, almost Doctor-free story introducing the terrifying Weeping Angels and showcasing the show's narrative ingenuity. Its innovative use of time travel and suspense storytelling have made this an absolute modern classic. Next up, we have Utopia, The Sound of the Drums, The Last of the Time Lords. This epic three-parter featuring the return of the master and exploration of the Doctor's complex relationship with his nemesis. The storyline combines grandiose sci-fi elements with personal drama, culminating in the thrilling finale. And now we are moving into Fires of Pompeii season four. The 10th Doctor faces the moral dilemma of not being able to change a historical catastrophe. The episode's emotional weight and ethical questions, along with a memorable guest appearance by Peter Capaldi, make it unforgettable. We also have to talk about Midnight Season 4, a suspenseful Twilight Zone-esque episode that puts the Doctor in direct peril and explores themes of communication and trust. Its claustrophobic setting and psychological tension create a gripping and thought-provoking story. And we have the 11th Hour Season 5, Matt Smith's 11th Doctor makes a stylish debut with an engaging story and a deeper exploration of companion back stories. The episode sets the tone for a new era with its vibrant energy and intriguing plot. Oh, this one. Vincent and the Doctor, Season 5, a beautifully raw and honest episode dealing with Vincent van Gogh's struggles, blending art with emotional storytelling. It's a poignant exploration of mental health and the impact of art, culminating in a deeply moving ending. Oh my god, guys, you have to see this if you haven't seen it yet. Next, we have the Day of the Doctor 2013 special, a multi-doctor special celebrating the 50th anniversary, redefining the modern series mythology with epic and emotional moments. The interaction between the 10th, 11th, and the War Doctor is both hilarious and heartwarming. Next up, we have Listen. Season 8, we've got Peter Capaldi's 12th Doctor. He gets a high-concept, thought-provoking story exploring the Doctor's formative years. The episode's blend of psychological horror and deep character insights make it an absolute standout. And I have to say, this is probably the best episode. It's one of my absolute favorites of all. Heaven Sent, Hell Bent, a two-part tour de force with Peter Capaldi delivering a stellar performance, okay? Culminating in a return to Gallifrey and exploring key themes. The first part is a masterclass in suspense and acting while the second delves into the Doctor's past and future. It is a fantastic episode. You must watch it. And very essential to the lore of Doctor Who as well. You have some people that are talking kind of in a debate like with this current Doctor now and like this isn't even our Doctor because our Doctor, he... Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, I'm sorry. I kind of gave a little bit of spoiler there, but it's a very essential episode to watch. So there you have it. That's my 25 essential Doctor Who stories that I think every fan should watch. These episodes not only showcase the best of what the show has to offer, but it also highlights its incredible diversity and evolution over the decades. So again, this is my, these are my picks. I'm not saying that these are like set in stone, like these have to be the best. It's not saying that these are the best episodes in the entire world. These are just episodes that I think if you are going to be diving into Doctor Who, that these are definitely must watches. And also 
it's nice to go back to these episodes and revisit and see why we fell in love with this whole entire universe for a reason. And so if you enjoyed this list, make sure to check out my review of season 14 of Doctor Who on my channel. I have been diving into a lot of horror content lately, but I will be adding more sci-fi content, including more Doctor Who. So if you're into that, hit that subscribe button and join me on the super awesome cosmic adventure of Cafe Crashdown. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.